Uh, let's switch gears now to recruiting. Uh, neither one of us certainly experts in this field, and over the next uh, 72 <laughs> hours, we will have some of those on the show to do a little bit better job than we can. But you can see the things that are coming out. You understand the videos that go viral and, and kind of the, the guys that were on campus at LSU that you could catch from social media. And it was a, a huge weekend on campus at LSU, as you would imagine, because LSU had to make its pitch to players who had never met this staff. I mean, college football staffs move all over the place all the time, but this is all new. Mm -hmm. And so LSU had to get some guys in, Harold Perkins, Trevante Citizen, Jacoby Matthews. You know, it, the, the list goes on and on and on. First of all, you saw the video of, of, <laughs> of, uh, of Brian Kelly up there um, you know, dancing once again. I believe that was Danny Lewis. He was with the tight end. Your thoughts on the head coach's dance moves? Look, I, as a former recruit, I think I can speak to this. I would love it, dude. Like, imagine this is just the way I think about stuff. Like, imagine you know the beginning, the the genesis of social media era, and I got you know old Nick Saban just popping yeah. some dance moves on. I can bring that back to canvas. Like, hey guys, just, you see Saban just getting yeah. after it. Like, look for kids. Kids love it, man. You got the head ball coach. Of LSU, just getting down, having a little fun with you. Yes, it's fun. I know for other schools and other people, it's cringe. It's the fake accent. Yeah. It's whatever you want to call it. But it's about the recruits. And if the recruits love it, then I love it. Look, I, I took screenshots. Mark Morehouse, who's a sports writer. Uh, uh, so this is a video. It's Danny Lee's on that rotating thing. If you hadn't seen the video. And Brian Kelly's dancing with him. And it's a 360 camera shot that keeps swirling around him. And they're dancing in slow motion. And there's lights. And it's purple and gold. And... It, the video went viral. It had like eight million views, and in, in, I mean, it's up on on uh, right now. If, if you're if you're watching this on YouTube, and Brian Kelly's dancing, and he's not a very good dancer, and that's not really the point. Um, but Mark Morehouse, who's a sports writer, tweeted out, "If I were this kid, I would not be down with this." And then you look at Fitzgerald West, who's in this signing class, and he tweets out, "We have the coolest coach in college football." So whose opinion do you care more about, the 55 year old sports writer or the 18 year old football recruit? All this kid, Danny Lewis, knows is that he's going by. He, people look at 8 million views of his shot. That's what he knows. Yeah, yeah. like I said, man, for these kids, it, it's a cool opportunity. You get to be in a viral moment with the head football coach of LSU. It's like, come on, what what'd you do for your Saturday? <laughs> you just cook something on the grill. Like, come on, we got to relax. And I, I think if the parents have no issue with it, the kids have no issue with it, let Coach Kelly have fun. I love it. I didn't see this side of him when he was at Notre Dame. I didn't even think this was in his cards. He could pull these cards out. But um, the way he's really attacked this recruit and attacked the portal, um, got the, all those guys this weekend, I got, got to put my LSU by focus on. But it's looking like Matthews, Citizens, I don't know. It's looking that way right it, now. There could we'll be, see. I mean, this is the consensus from everyone that covers recruiting, and you can follow, subscribe to the websites, and you can read their tweets and look at whatever you want to look at. We're not that, I, I'll, I'll tell you. Um, but when you look at there's potential for some fireworks for LSU over the next two days. I mean, obviously the biggest names are Harold Perkins and Jacoby Matthews, who are four high, five star um, guys. And you know, for me, I think Jacoby Matthews is likely to come to LSU. That's the way I felt about it. I still, with what with Harold Perkins, um, it's just everything he said has leaned towards the fact that he's not coming to LSU now. As Shay Dixon always says from Go247, who we'll probably talk to in the next two days, look at what they do and not what they say. And what Harold Perkins did was come to Baton Rouge the last weekend before signing day. So that's <laughs> okay. a pretty big deal. Yeah. Javante Citizen falls right into that uh, that fold as well. My deal with Javante Citizen is that running back room is crowded. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are a lot of dudes. Um, there are very few carries available for this coming season. And then you've got two highly thought of freshmen who are just moving up this past year. So... That's your spot. That's your position. You entered a loaded running back room. <laughs> yeah. Didn't seem to bother you very much. What are yeah. you? What are your thoughts on Citizen? I think uh, if all positions, uh, I, I think running back is the one where you can be five or six deep, uh, especially when you have yeah. the injuries that are going to naturally happen for a running back. And then two, you have the portal. Uh, I, I hate to say this, I got to take my issue by focus off this time. I, I think one of these guys are going to be in the portal after spring yeah. football. I just just the way the numbers line up. Um, I, I think. I can't really point to who it exactly will be, but I think one of these running backs won't be on the roster. So as a freshman coming in, um, you got two guys who I think won't be on the roster. I, I don't think you'll see Emory or Kane on this roster next season. Um, you feel like if you don't play as much your freshman year, you'll have a great opportunity as a sophomore to yep. be possibly the starting running back or, or be in the rotation, which is really what most kids are really all they want. And so to look at it, my prediction, this is with 
zero inside information. None. I say that very emphatically, just based on what I've read and kind of what I look at with guys going. I think Harold Perkins ends up in Florida. Mm. No inside information. I just mm. his his interview said he loved Florida. He thought it was fire. That's just my guess. I don't know. I just stay at A and M. That's fine with me. Um, Jacoby Matthews, I think, comes to LSU. Uh, Trevante Citizen, I think, goes to Auburn. Mm. Uh, <laughs> just just no information. I'm just throwing it out there. I think Danny Lewis ends up at LSU, um, and I think that. Uh, Jalen Davis Robinson is a guy that LSU brings in, just elite, elite speed guy. Uh, I think they bring him in as well. Your uh, your thoughts on my uh, fairly negative uh, predictions on recruiting that I don't know very much about? <laughs> I think Perkins is the only wild card. Like, there's no telling the way he's doing. He he looks like he's looking for that bag, and I mean that big money bag. Well, he's, not, he's made no bones <laughs> about that. So. Yeah, so I, I really I don't know how those uh, negotiations are going to go down. But I think for the other guys, I think Matthews especially looking at the safety room right now at LSU, he's going to have an opportunity. Being a guy who's formerly committed to LSU, um, he's going to have an amazing opportunity to start as a true freshman, which is, you know, you you, you know you dream for opportunities like that. And I think for citizens, seeing the OC situation. Um, I was at, about to bring that up. That was my yeah, next talk. Yeah, that's, a, that's what I was going to go. And I think also uh, they're, they're getting oh, – I can't even think of his name right now. They're running back uh, who came back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tank Bigsby. Yeah, Tank. They got Tank Bigsby coming back, so you know he's going to be the bell cow for them next season. I don't know. I think Coach Frank can uh, swing a little citizen to Baton Rouge. I'm just feeling that way right now. We'll talk about this again in 30 minutes because it's going to take it or leave it. But as you mentioned, Austin Davis, who is Auburn's offensive coordinator, they hired him in the middle of December, has stepped away from the program as of today. And look, Barrett Salee, who covers this very closely uh, and is an Auburn grad, said this is a dumpster fire under Brian Harson. Now, he stepped away for personal reasons. I don't know what they are. So, you know, it could be that he thinks this is a disaster at Auburn. It could be that there are some very significant issues he needs to take care of that don't have anything to do with football. I don't know that. What I do know is there is very little stability in Auburn. There's coordinators moving all over the place. There are starting quarterbacks transferring out. Transfer, they've lost basically the entire defensive line. There is so much unrest after one year in Auburn with Brian Harson, that absolutely, I can see Trevante Citizen looking at that and saying, no way, Jose. <laughs> that is yeah. the, the one of the positives when you make a coaching chain and you clean house. There's not one ounce of negative energy in that LSU football department right mm-hmm. now. Everybody's new to the scene. Everybody's excited to be here. A lot of guys who are making more money than they ever had or have gotten promotions or, do it, and, or at places that, I mean, this is a more high-profile place than they had been. It's just a place where everybody's feeling really good. That's an intoxicating thing to recruit to. Now, I don't think they're going 12-0 and 0 next year. There's going to be <laughs> yeah. a little bit of adversity, so that will come. There's none of that in Baton Rouge right now while Auburn's dealing with a ton of it, so maybe LSU can ride that out, and if they can swing Harold Perkins and they can you know, go ahead and get Javante Citizen and they can get Jacoby Matthews, and all of a sudden you sign a top eight class in the country when it was broken in half by you know the, the coaching change, that would be a real... Feather in the calf of Brian Kelly moving this thing forward. There's no question. Yeah, and and for me, uh, that's the one thing that I did give him credit for. Uh, being a recruiter that he is, being a guy that knows how to run a, a program professionally, I think that's the best word you can put on the, just the way he's run things, just his hires that he's made, finding guys with Louisiana ties, finding guys who can recruit the crap out of this state and really keep guys – who may you know be at schools right now in the country and get them to come back home and the recruits that are in this great state. So um, I think he's done a phenomenal job so far. Just looking at the guys he got just to come visit the campus uh, right before signing day just goes to show what type of recruiter he is. And like I've always been saying, I don't think he's done yet. I know everyone wants me to, you know, how many games are y'all win next year? Just wait. I want to see what Coach Kelly does on the recruiting scene. So still got some work to do, but it, it's definitely trending in the right direction. I had a conversation with someone last week, um, and the – conclusion that I came to based on this information was this is going to be a fairly uh, closed door football program in terms of media availability, in terms of, uh, you know, social media from the players and coaches. And, you know, for me as a radio guy, that is not good for content to not speak with assistants and have limited. I mean, Brian Kelly has not done anything since his introductory press conference. Mm-hmm. He didn't even do anything on sign, on early signing period. Mm-hmm. Nothing. And and so from a radio perspective, that's not great for content. <laughs> yeah. But I'm pretty open about this too. What's most important to me is that LSU's football program is in great standing. I mean, obviously my job and my family and all that comes before LSU football, but if they win a bunch of games, life's going to be just fine at 104.5 ESPN Baton Rouge and all the way at Guarantee Media, I promise you. <laughs> yeah, whether, whether Brian Kelly comes on and does... No weekly radio interviews or not, or you know, blows up social media or not. So 
that's that that's full disclosure. That's that's the way things go around here, and everyone's aware of that. Everybody's business does better when LSU wins. Restaurants, hotels, <laughs> everybody's doing better when LSU does well. But this is going to be a buttoned up professional organization that is being run over there at LSU, and you may not hear a lot from it. And and to mm-hmm. me, you know, I think there are probably some fans who wishes they could hear a little bit more. There was a little bit more access. For me, I'm just kind of like, all right, if, if that's what you need to do, make it happen. And, and the proof's in the pudding. He's been the head coach here for two months. We've seen him once. It's it's just a little yeah. bit different around there now. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he knows just how much work he has to put in right now. It's just you watch that bowl game. You watch, you know, the talent that was out on the field. You watch the depth and all the issues uh, that we saw. Uh, I, I think Coach Kelly knew good and well just how much work he has to put in to get this program back not only at a winning level, but at a championship level, because I think that's the only reason why you leave Notre Dame and come to Baton Rouge. You're in college football playoffs, you're in and you're out, you're winning 10, 11 games every single year. What's the point of leaving? You leave there to go win a national championship. And to me, the way he's carrying himself, the way he's doing things, even though the accents, the dancing videos, whatever you want to call it, um, things are definitely trending a lot better than they were a couple months ago for this program. And I think he's still got to continue to do that work. Thanks so much for watching Hunt Hill on YouTube. Now do us a favor. Hit the red subscribe button below and throw us a like. We'll see you next time.